Hi guys, I'm Mikhail from Prague ICU and in this video I will demonstrate how to perform subclavian vein cannulation under ultrasound. The infraclavicular approach is most commonly used. Insertion site is inferior to the clavicle at the junction of its medial and middle thirds or just inferior to the clavicle at its midpoint. The middle third begins at the point where the clavicle angles posteriorly. Before the procedure, perform a provisional ultrasound to check vein patency and exclude thrombosis. Also, check the diameter of the subclavian vein. First, use the transversal view to visualize subclavian vessels. Subclavian vein, arrow on the right, is oval shaped and collapses easily. The subclavian artery the row on the left is round shaped and doesn't collapse under compression. Also, use a color Doppler. Pulse Doppler in the subclavian vein shows low amplitude waveforms. In contrast, subclavian artery has high peak pulsatel waveforms. When rotating the ultrasound probe clockwise, you will get the longitudinal view image of the vein. Again, the vein is easily compressible and pulse Doppler shows low amplitude waveforms. By tilting the probe down, you will be able to see the subclavian artery, which is posterior and superior from the vein. You have seen a step-by-step -step approach on how to prepare a sterile trolley for cannulation in our previous videos, hence we will directly proceed to the procedure. Place the patient in a supine position and prep the side extensively with chlorhexidine. Start from the center and move out. Never come back to the center. Then drape the intended area. Afterwards, insert the ultrasound probe into the sterile cover. Position the probe to have the right side of the image on the right and left side on the left. Check again the presence of the subclavian vein in the longitudinal view, which is preferred over the transversal position for the cannulation. To avoid any painful sensations during cannulation, skin should be infiltrated with a local anesthetic under ultrasound guidance. We use Ligonkane 1%. Always see the tip of the needle during insertion. Then approach the introduced needle at an angle approximately 30 to 45 degrees. Image of the needle tip needs to be followed all the time. Tilting and shifting of the probe helps with optimization of the needle tip. Now you can see the needle tip approaching the vein. The tip enters the subclavian vein while dark venous blood is aspirated. When a flush of dark non pulsatile blood is obtained, advance the wire into the needle.
withdraw the needle while leaving the guide wire in place. Double check the position of the wire inside the vein with ultrasound. Make the small superficial incision at the entry point of the wire that will facilitate the passage of the dilator. Insert the dilator using the rotating motion. Avoid bending or kinking of the wire. Remove the dilator and anticipate bleeding. Apply gauze pads to minimize it. Then advance the catheter. Always insert the line under the same axis as you inserted the dilator. Do not advance the line until you have hold of the end of the wire. Remove the wire and check the blood return in all ports. Aspirate and flush all lumens appropriately and apply lumen caps. Then suture the line. Finally, apply the sterile dressing. Thank you for staying with us today and stay tuned for our next videos from Prague ICU.